All right, so I want you to note something. Look at the clock down here, 25 minutes. It has taken me to get this answer for finding the G-Metrics <laughs> templates folder. It shouldn't be this difficult, but in this day and age, at least in Windows, yes, it is this difficult. So let's go through this. Click the File tab. I'm going to do that. And they want you to click Open. Okay, those two are easy enough. And now it's like, oh, find the folder. It should be here. Actually, on some computers, it is. But for those of you who did not, uh, do not have it on your screen, this is what you do. You click Browse, and you're going to have to really fight for this one. Notice that there's a bunch of arrows here. Um, I had to go to this directory here. You might have to check more. But there's this directory here, which has my name. And from here, notice this. There's two documents folders. And it's the second one. So the Gmetrics templates folder is the second one. So you click on this. You have to make sure that all files is checked. I had that checked already, so you see it. But if you don't have all files checked, you're not going to be able to do that. Like, let's put it, uh, all Excel files, see, it's gone, all files. Now you click on this, open. Now you're probably scared to death now and like, oh my goodness, this course is going to be difficult. Um, the computer situation is difficult, but we'll navigate it together. You're going to do fine. This is as difficult as Gmetrics gets, so just trust the process. Now what you have to click is the My Data Has Headers button. You click on that. Now you hit the Next button. Ensure that the Tab checkbox is the only delimiter checkbox selected, so it's that one. Next button and Finish button. Next, Finish. And that's that.